Very good evening, welcome to St Mary's ahead of tonight's FA Youth Cup. Third round tie between Southampton's under 18s and Rotherham. Both sides entering the competition at this stage this season. Let me run through the two teams for you in full then. We'll start with the visitors, Rotherham. 4 4 2 for them tonight. It's Charlie Farrar in goal, a back four of Harrison Beden, Jake Hull, Jake Cooper, who captains the side. Alex Johnson at left back. It's Regan Hutchinson, Mitchell Carlton, Wilf Peel Evans, and Jacob Grattan across the midfield. Jacques Etier partners Tyrone Luthwaite up front for Rotherham this evening. Their substitutes bench Elliot Ellis, Luke Hodgkinson, Joel Spencer, Robbie Gateshill, and Travon Wenham. Southampton make one change this evening to the side that won 4 1 against Norwich on Saturday in the under 18s Premier League. Kane Ramsey comes into the side, captaining them this evening, making way, dropping to the bench is Dari Olafunwa. It'll be a 4-2-3-1 for Saints this evening. Jack Bycroft in goal, four at the back, Kane Ramsey at right back. It's Pascal Kapalmu at centre back alongside Alan Chapchet. James Morris is in at left back. The two holding midfielders for Saints this evening, Alexandra Jankovic and Caleb Watts. Slightly more advanced in that attacking diamond, if you like, at the base of it, Tamar Fleury. The two wide men, Will Ferry and Enzo Robisi. It's Christian Norton leading the line this evening for Saints with the number nine shirt on, a Welsh under-19 international. On the bench for Southampton, Dan Bartlett, Matt Hall, Sean Brennan, Dariola Funwa and Benny Smales Braithwaite. Alongside me for commentary here at St Mary's tonight is Southampton's under-16s coach, former Bristol City centre-back, Louis Carey. Louis, very good evening. Great to have you alongside us. Um, what do you make of this as a competition and a, and a test for these Saints players this evening? Um, first off, good evening and thank you for the opportunity to come and um, sit with you guys and talk and um, watch what hopefully will be an excellent football match. As, you know, we all know the, the history behind FA Youth Cup whatever we say you know every game is treated the same way but there's something special about you know youth cup evenings uh, when especially when you're at home you know under the lights and there's a few fans here it's um yeah it's an amazing experience for all involved this is to get us underway then through wills p11s that's a nice searching ball over the top and an early cross in as well drop down look like onto the hand there Clayton says the referee, early ball, that's a great save, early doors from Jack Bycroft and good defending as well to deny the visitors on the rebound. What a start from Rotherham inside the opening minute. Is, is, shot is, in from distance. I was going to say it's an excellent start uh, from Rotherham, they, they, you know, they've turned the right full back straight away, got a loopy crossing, the ball has landed on James Morris's hand, whether it's intentional or not, um, not too sure, but then the, the volley and the save from Jack Bycroft is, is, is top, top draw. Carlton with the corner and towards the front post. Space on the edge of the box, flicked on again by Tyrone Luthwaite. He was the man with the shot. He will be the danger man to look out for from a Rotherham point of view this evening. The Miller's number nine. See the ball there just dropping down onto the arm of James Morris. I think you've seen them given a lot in, the <laughs> in Premier League games all, all around the country. What about that save as well there from Jack Bycroft? Alert, early doors inside the opening minute. Cold evening out there. It is, in, you know, at times, whenever you start any game, you want to get a touch of the ball. Not probably the type of touch Jack wanted to start, but he's one of those goalkeepers who we've had um, all the way through the system in He's one who we expect to go right to the top. You know, the ability that the lad's had throughout his whole career, um, what he shows in possession and out of possession with his saves is, is um, you know, exceptional for his age. Through a shot a few moments ago there, Paul Hardyman as well, the Saints under-18s manager. Man with a lot of footballing experience, former Portsmouth, Sunderland, Bristol Rovers and Wickham player. Joined the Saints back in the summer. Slightly concerned look on his face after that start from Rotherham. I think it's literally just because of the start now. Anybody would expect when you play these lower league oppositions or Cat 2 or Cat 3. Ferry with the cross into Ward's 
Rubisi. Yeah, you'd expect them to start well because you know this is this is their final. They're playing at St Mary's is a is a dream for a lot of these Cat Three players, and you'd you'd expect them to start exactly how they have. But I'm sure that once we can um, once we can settle and get get control of football, we'll um, you know ease our way into the game and become more confident. Strong play in there from Alexandra Jankovic. Swiss international Jankovic. He will eventually get a, another throw for Saints once the ball has been retrieved from deep into the stands. Morris with options forward in the form of Rabisi and Tamar Fleury with that distinctive haircut. By Kapalmu. Space out there for Ramsey. Early cross in. Yeah, it's good from Caleb there. You know, Will Ferry, who's got a lovely balance about him, chops, chops out on the right-hand side, crosses the ball in with his, um, with his right foot once they head the ball out. It's really important that our two, you know, more defensive midfielders pick up those second balls and, you know, keep, keep the ball in around the Rotherham um, box. And that's what Caleb did there. It's, it's very good. He's drawn the foul and someone with the quality of Will Ferry's left foot um, and you know the height of the two centre backs this is an opportunity for the, for the boys early on. Another opportunity to see that left foot of Will Ferry now from the free kick. It's a good one in towards the six yard box. Kane Ramsey it was, the Saints skipper throwing himself at it. Just too much on it, couldn't stretch far enough. No, it's a, it's a beautiful in swinging ball from Will Ferry. Like we said, the quality that he possesses with that left foot is, is very goodness. He's got a lovely flight on the ball, nice bit of pace, just needed somebody to get ahead and unfortunately Kane was, Kane was a yard, um, yard too short. Kapalmu under pressure, support in there from Chapchet. Some defending for Ramsey to do now, back in the side this evening. Hustled and harried over there by Jacques Zetia. A contrast in height from the two Rotherham strikers this evening. It's back to the good old days of football, eh? 4 4 2, big man, little man up top. <laughs> Another touch for Bycroft. Reading his quotes before the match, looking forward to this evening. You'll be pleased with that save, early doors. If you are just tuning in a little late inside the opening minute, early chance for Tyrone Luthwaite, best of the game so far. Fell to the visitors' Rotherham. It was a brilliant save from close range in the end from. Jack Bycroft. Things have settled down for Saints since then. This one of four ties this evening. As Christian Norton gets in behind here, produces a save himself and then puts it wide on the rebound. I think it took a bit of a deflection. It'll be a corner to Saints. You know, it's a wonderful ball slid down the side for, from um, Kane Ramsey and a, a very good from, run from Christian Norton off the back of the left side of centre back. I, I think personally the keeper may need to come and come and get that ball, but once he stays, you know you'd fancy Chris Norton there to to finish that. He's hit the target and he's made the keeper make a save, but I'd, th I'd fancy him to score with somebody who's been in the form that he's been in this year. Ferry with the corner for Saints. It's another challenging one for Rotherham to deal with. Fleary, it's the feed of Caleb Watts. Still space out there for Ferry. Does well to beat his man. Another delivery towards the back post. Rabisi this time underneath it. Wins a corner. Too sure if that is a corner. But when you know when Will Ferry, the left-footed um, wide right player, cuts in on that left foot instead of lofting it up far stick, really you'd like him to use that. You know, use that in-swing and delivery that he's uh, capable of producing. Really. Be Rabisi with the corner for Saints. Well, to keep it in. Support arriving from James Morris. Can't find his man. A chance for Etienne to break. He's got support further forward if he wants it. Does find the run of Jacob Gratton. Good defending, good covering there from Jankovic. Bit of a, a rusty kick, shall we say, there from Jack Bycroft. 
Yeah, Jack's got the Jack's got the ability, composure, you know, to put his foot on the ball there and, and play for the boys and like we said to help settle the game down and get a nice fill of the ball in these opening 10, 15 minutes. Beating the right back of the throw for Rotherham. It's in towards the feet of Luthwaite. Again, strong play back there from Southampton. Will Ferry in the action again. He's been a busy man inside this opening eight minutes or so for Southampton. Louis, under 16's boss at the moment. Uh, a few of these have come through your squad, I'm right in saying, up to this level at under 18's. Yeah, Jack Bycroft, James Morris, and Christian Norton, you know, all of them have got the. Um, potential to, to to make it for different reasons you know Chris Norton up front is a is a threat with his pace and his power and the the season that he's had this year has been it's been very good and um, that's rep, been um, represented by playing for Wells in the you know under 19s and it is much much deserved as well Hutchinson goes down under the challenge from Tamar Fleury wins a free kick A bit yeah. over the top, I think, it's fair to say, with the way he went down. But there was a lot of contact there on the replay. Yeah, that's, that's, um, that's a tough one. I know referee was in a very good position, but he's, um, he's dived there and he's, he's conned the referee. This, um, it's not good to see from, you know, especially lads doing that, that type of thing at this sort of age. It's a sizeable wall from Saints. Jake Cooper, the Rotherham skipper, lining himself up to hit this one, along with Alex Johnson. It's going to be Johnson to hit it. Took a deflection on its way through. Rotherham will win a corner. Yeah, there's a well-worked free kick there. It's always tough for the goalkeeper because he doesn't know whether it's going to be the left or righty that takes it. I'm, I'm not sure that Lad's allowed to have his foot on the ball there to roll it uh, both ways. Um, but, you know, is uh, to try and obscure the view from Jack. Carton short to Hutchinson into P. Evans. Another early delivery from him. Chap check with the header clear for Saints. It's a comfortable one for Bycroft to claim. He's going to look to get play moving quickly. A space out wide left for Rabisi. Fleary. Christian Norton underneath it. Space for Caleb Watts and Will Evans again down that right flank. Ramsey on the underlap. Early ball in is a good one. Took the deflection. Will win a corner for Saints. Yeah, there's a good underlap from Kane Ramsey there. A bit of confusion with the with the sitting midfielder and the fullback with who takes a runner and who goes to the ball. That type of run does cause confusion. Um, you know, generally we'll educate the lads there that the fullback takes the, the runner because he can see everything coming. So um, looks like that is an area that they could exploit um, Rotherham. Will Ferry again to deliver for Saints. It's a wicked whip on the ball. It's cleared off the line. Combination of goalkeeper and defender there for Rotherham. Again, all an, about that delivery from oh, Will that's Ferry. An incredible delivery. Um, in swing and the, keep, the keeper's actually done very well from a couple of those now to punch. Um, you'd like his defenders in front of him to maybe block the runners a little bit more, but it looks like an area that we can cause problems from with the, the quality from, from Will Ferry's uh, set-piece deliveries there. Given away by Saints. Hutchinson, supporting his right from Etia. Just held up by James Morris. Morris yeah, again he's defended tackle. excellent twice there, 1v1. Um, He's redeemed himself after giving the ball away. James is one of those, you know, he's, he's come through the system where we've worked with him that is incredibly comfortable on the ball. And, you know, his awareness and his, his understanding of what is around him, um, especially off of both feet, is of a very high level. And unfortunately, he's, he's started a little bit shaky on the ball, but has defended great so far. Beaten to wind one up for Rotherham. By Fleury. Defending by Capalmo in there. First up. Space for Ramsey. If he wants to use it, which he does. Support further forward from Will Ferry. And Norton inside. 
In the end finds neither. Etia looking for the run of Luthwaite, just held up by Ramsey. That's well read in there by Jankovic. What? Just sold. James Morris a little bit short there. Space down the right flank for Rotherham. It's not the greatest of balls in. No, you have to be careful anywhere, you know, in your defensive third with those with those square balls, especially if they if they become over sort of 10, 15 yards. You have to be very careful with regards to um, you know, that type of pass uh, being cut out and then you being counted on. So again, that's something for, for the boys to be aware of. But they're more than capable to put you know, put enough weight on the pass to, to, to get it to each other. It's well charged down by Ferry. Norton's in behind here, one-on-one. -on -one. Flags up on the far side, it won't count. And I'm really surprised at this rule because um, I don't understand how you have to wait until he makes contact with the ball to then um, flag because, you know, even when you watch it back in slow motion, there's a chance that the keeper and him can collide and everything. Whereas if the linesman just puts his flag up as soon as he's offside, you know, it stops any any confusion, it stops any any possibility or chance of injuries. Um, you know, it just stops the game dead. See that delivery in again from Will Ferry here. It's a great corner. Norton, it was lurking on the goal line. Yeah, Farrow pa Pascal just did enough, enough is in ducked, goal. Um, and he's caught him on his hand. You know, if he was a little bit braver there, I think he's got the opportunity to head it at a goal. Free kick to Saints. And Zerubisi, the Frenchman, goes down. Seven goals for him for the under-18s last season. Signed a new three-year contract in July. Yeah, he's, a, he's, one, he's one of your um, key players today. Him one side and Will the other side. That You, you want to get them on the ball, one with their quality. And, you know, Enzo with his, um, with his power and his running power is, um, you know, incredibly good. And, and, and always puts defenders on the back foot this um, it's tough to mark. Into his second season here at Saints now. And signed back in 2017. Back to that in a minute. Space for Morris. Good delivery in from Morris. Brilliant header from Christian Norton to give Saints the lead. Right on the stroke of the quarter of the hour mark. Beautiful ball in from James Morris. And the header to match from Christian Norton. Southampton 1, Rotherham 0. Yeah, started with James receiving the ball wide. Enzo, a, a lovely little bit of movement off the line infield. Gives him the ball and then overlaps him. Once he overlaps him, you know, what we touched on earlier, James's quality. You know, the, the type of delivery he's put in there is flat with pace and Chris Norton just needs to get his head on it and guide it towards goal that he's done. It's a, it's a wonderful goal from the boys. Saints up and running then in their 2018-19 FA Youth Cup campaign. His third round tie against Rotherham. Paul Hardiman, the Saints, under 18's manager. No doubt pleased with what he's seen, but demanding more. How pleasing for you as well to see one of your lads who's come up through the 16's and all of them that have out there playing today but getting a goal as well yeah we said it, i think it's great um it's great for the club to get as many lads that have come through your system involved um you know whether that's the the, the first years at the moment playing 17s games and hopefully pushing into the 18s next year but for james to get his chance at the moment especially ahead of a um you know a signed player who is an international and is a second year i think it shows the um i think it shows from paul hardyman you know, or the appreciation for the excellent work that James has done this season. But, you know, James's, James's quality there has always been undoubted. Um, it's just we're, we're, we're hoping that obviously pace-wise and physically he starts growing into his body, becomes a little bit more powerful. And like I said, football-wise, football intelligent, he's the most, um, I suppose, lads that I've worked with that come through the system. He's the most intelligent footballer that I've, um, you know, that I've seen and that I've worked with. And to have that as a you know, a tool is in, is, is um, a very good start. And like we said, once he gets the physicality to match it, you know, there's no reason why, again, him and a few of these boys out here can't go right to the top. 
And that takes time, Louis, doesn't it? The voice of Louis Carey, by the way, the Southampton under-16s manager, alongside us for commentary this evening. You, I'm right in saying, came through the, the ranks at Bristol City? Yeah, a long time ago now, so good good 20, 20 plus years ago, so... Um, Different you know, now, would you say, in terms oh, of how these players so. need to break through and develop as players? Very much so, and you know, the, the level as well, where they're trying to reach the money involved, it's... Um, I suppose, given managers of these top clubs the opportunity and the potential to buy world-class players, so that's what you're trying to break into. And you know, when you're in the Premier League and you're, you know, what we're hoping to be a top half of the Premier League, it's gonna, it's gonna take time and patience for some of these boys to break in. Space again for James Morris. Fleury, flags up, offside, just straight into. That offside position. Strange decision, I was offside there when James has passed it square and it's come off a Rotherham player to slide him in, not sure how that's um, offside. I think the referee can overrule those type of decisions. But yeah, referee this evening, Michael Ryan, just in conversation with his assistant over on the far side. But to answer your question, it is extremely tough nowadays, so boys have to be of a very high level to and, and consistently to um, to break in, but like we said, this football club's been amazing over the years to um, show patience to, to young talent and, and to give them a pathway to the first team and an opportunity. And I'm, you know, I'm sure hopefully that will continue over the next few years. For BC and Fleury in amongst the for Saints in the middle of the park. Jankovic, just time to open his body up. It's a nice touch from Will Ferry. Lovely second touch as well, just to skip away from his man. Norton just able to recycle the play. Ferry, space again for Jankovic. Morris, support from Rabisi. Skips away from his man. Palmed away by Farah into the danger zone. No one there in a red shirt, dealt with in the end. By Jacob Gratton at the back post for Rotherham. Yeah, another strong, powerful run from, from Enzo and, you know, he's got the ability to, to strike a ball well with power off of both feet that he did then and looking at the replay, the keeper's actually done well to, you know, to get, to get a bit of height on the, um, on the clearance. From one winger to cause problems potentially to another, Will Ferry again with the delivery. It's another probing one from the Saints winger. Farah came from it, didn't deal with it. No, the, the, the goalkeeper there's, you know, having a little bit of a complaint that his shirt's being pulled, and I think Chris Norton on the line. But he's been he's been more than willing to come for to come for crosses. You know, I think if if one of the lads uh, just touch touch braver with it, with their challenge um, with the keeper, I think there's a possibility of goals here from set pieces. Tamar Fleury arriving at the back post as well. The 18-year-old couldn't get enough on the header, if anything at all. Robisi again for Saints. Jankovic. Ramsey, the Saints skipper, forward to Ferry. Just skips past his man with ease. Deadly that left foot of Will Ferry. You sense one's going to land right on the head of one of those Saints forwards he in is, just a moment, Louis. He's, he's a yard or so away at the moment from being absolutely spot on, but. The intention of what he's trying to do is, um, you know, very good, very good. And and, it, and the problems we're causing them at the moment is any time we switch the play with their lads. Um, Gratton with the cross in, punch clear by Bycroft. Comes back in again from Hutchinson. Peel Evans is there as well. Poke goalwards by Jacques Etia. Goal kick. Yeah, it's an interesting one there because as, as Jack makes his initial first punch, the, the boys are very, very slow. Um, to come out and make the 18-yard box. Once you clear that ball, you know you have to get up to be playing their their two front lads offside. Otherwise, they're going to give um, give up opportunities like that in and around the penalty spot. Um, you don't want to be doing that too many times. Chap chap to his goalkeeper Bycroft. You know, that's the thing. People, people think that's risky at the back at times, but you know, when your keeper's your spare man and you've got your sitting centre midfielder, you're, you're a 4v2 constantly. 
you can create the little diamonds and triangles around them. You know, you, you will play out with ease and in the end, their strikers will give up running, but you have to be very, very patient with it. Very much something you, you're bringing these boys up on as well, Louis, I guess. Very much so, you know, I think you see it a lot in, in English football and especially from our supporters that, that, that when you've got the ball at the back, there's a bit of a, oh, when they're playing, whereas, you know, you've got, to, you've got to relax and you've got to enjoy that pressure and you've got to enjoy the press and, you know, play against it and move and, I can guarantee that at some point one of the Rotherham players will will switch off because you know they're running constantly here now without the ball, and at the end of the day we all want we want to all, we all want to have the ball. Sorry, so yeah, something we um, try and educate the boys on, and, and the other one is, like I said, the, the the patience and enjoying having the ball. And I say the crowds get uptight, but also players at times think they got to score every time they get the ball, and you know as long as they can, as quick as they can. That's not always the the case, you know. If, if you can educate the lads on why they're why they're passing the ball, um, then in the end you'll get the you know the desired outcomes. You're just joining us a little late. Southampton's media channels this evening. It is Christian Norton's goal that separates the two sides. Lovely header from the Saint striker after a great ball in from the left back James Morris. Free kick to Saints. Looks like we're going to see the first man into referee Michael that's, Ryan's book as well. That's an excellent shout though, isn't it, from the big centre half who's turned around to the ref and said, ref, that's his first one. Doesn't matter whether it's your first one, your second one, your third one or your fourth one. If there's a if there's a foul and is a booking, is a booking. Right back Harrison Beden is gonna have to deal with Enzo Rabisi for the rest of this match on a yellow card. It'll be Rabisi to deliver the free kick for Saints. Could see what he was trying to do. I think. See what he was trying, but it was a little bit too too um, close to the keeper with regards to the way it was in swinging. If he sets that out towards the far post and then comes into the keeper, it gives the uh, lads an opportunity to get across the line of the ball and the keeper, whereas that was near post, uh, sorry, middle and then towards the near post. It, it didn't give the lads a chance to, um, you know, to get there from this left side. How about the way Saints have settled into this game, Louis, as well, especially after that start inside the opening minute when yeah, Jack definitely. Bycroft's had to make a really good save to deny Tyrone Luthwaite. Yeah, it is an excellent save from um, you know Rotherham's, Rotherham's best player and you know best prospect, and I'd expect that from Jack. I'd expect him to make that save, even though it is a very good save. And, and since then, the boys have you know the boys have settled great, and you know look at home and feel at home at the um, you know at St Mary's and. They, they've tried to control the game, like we said, when, when they move the ball and then they get back to the middle of the pitch and then switch the play to, to our wide men or overlapping fullbacks um, is when we actually look most dangerous at the moment. Jankovic, space for Chapchet, opens his legs up, drives forward. It's a good turn from Rabisi. Again, Morris is hugging that touchline. Rabisi. Couldn't find the feed of Fleury. No, he's a threat and the fullback's on a booking now, so the fullback's very reluctant to go tight with Enzo. And like we said, Enzo's a, a powerful runner when he's when he's running with the ball. So, you know, he protects the ball well when he runs with it and he draws a lot of fouls. And, you know, with their fullback now being under that type of pressure, I, I'd be giving the ball to Enzo now constantly if I was a, a Southampton player. You mentioned Rabisi's arrival earlier, signed back in 2017 by Saints from the League 2, League 2 side, Reims. Of course, recruitment, not just here. If we look at the bench, Dario Olufunwa, local lad, born and bred in Southampton, but Saints looking far and wide now for their players, Louis. Well, like, like we said, you you know, the, the the pool that Southampton can can choose from with regards to logistically where we are, you know, I think Southampton's a population of 200, 250,000 or something. Um, you know, it's not as big as these uh, big London clubs and, you know, the top size in around London where there are six million people. So, you know, if we can add top quality signings, um, you know, from, from Europe to go with the talent that we produce from ourselves, I think is, I think is great for everybody. Uh, the one thing you wouldn't want is that that then overpowers um, number wise, you know, what is coming through our system. I think the club are, you know, the club are, club are understanding enough of their academy that they won't let that happen. Um, but to add the top top quality, like like Caleb Watts is an example from from other Cat Two and Three clubs, and along with that, from Europe, 
I think is only good for the the academy and to lift, um, you know, and, and and then encourage even better and more from from the lads that we have in the system. Yeah, Caleb signed from QPR and the younger players. It's 16 in the side as well. That's a interesting cross, I think we'll say, from Kane Ramsey there. But it certainly had Charlie Farah backpedalling in the Rotherham goal. Really disappointing cross after such a great move. So Pascal's at the back on a little bit of pressure. There's a couple of little wall passes from, um, you know, Pascal, Will Ferry, Caleb and, and Kane. And then Kane has a big touch out of his feet to use his pace and power that he has. And then we're just looking for that little bit of quality then in and around the 18-yard box. And, you know, one of these chances, um, you know, if we can create another opportunity to score from one of these, you know, this game not could be over by half-time, but will be very, very tough for um, Rotherham to, to get back into it. 18-year-old Fleury finds the feet of his captain, Ramsey. Palmer to Bycroft. And space for Chap Chap. Another one of the players just 16 years of age in the side this evening. Chap Chap. Caleb Watts. Yeah, a huge lad, a huge lad, sorry. Alan never looks 16, does he? But <laughs> Recovery from Chap Chet there as he takes his eye off the ball just for a moment. Space for Watts. Support from Fleury. Rabisi. Again, it's just going to have a run at the right back, Beden. Rabisi. Still Rabisi. Hurry clearance at the back from Rotherham. Jankovic. Ruthwaite back on defensive duties for Rotherham. One of a couple of players with international pedigree in the Rotherham side. Tyrone Luthwaite, regular Northern Ireland youth international. Captain Jake Cooper, Republic of Ireland youth as well. Yeah, it's an interesting one because we got them pen back in at the moment when they um, you know when Rotherham do have the opportunity to clear the ball. Is, is generally falling to the little striker up the top rather than the big striker at the moment. So, you know, that might be something they need to look at just to relieve the pressure at times. Ramsey with a low cross this time, dealt with by Jake Cooper, the other room skipper. Speaking to a few of their players before the game. There's a brilliant leader for them at the back, the Ireland international. Ferry to the byline. Cooper again there with the header. Ball's already out of play. This one of four third round ties in the FA Youth Cup taking place this evening. The rest spread across the rest of December, really. The fixtures elsewhere tonight Preston hosting Charlton, Derby away at Blackpool, and a team from just down the road from St Mary's, not too far, Andover. One of the lower ranked sides still left in the competition. Bit of a glamour tie for them away at Ipswich this evening. You see that ball in again from James Morris, the one that led to the goal. Yeah, it's the um it's the it's the pace, it's the pace and the flatness that, that ball has come in at. This um this caused the problems. Like we said, Christian just has to guide it towards goal. He does ever so well. He gets his his body turned and his shoulders facing where he wants the ball to go. And it just finds the bottom corner. It gives a keeper, um, obviously gives a keeper there no chance. It's, a, it's actually an excellent header when you watch it in slow motion. Gets better every time. From the Londoner, Christian Norton, 17 years of age. Joined the Saints back in 2015. It's Norton again. A few cries from the crowd who thought he'd just snuck it the other side of the post into the side netting. Sharp that's, play again that, from Saints. The, that's a third time now that Chris has got in exactly that same position. Um, you know, it's, a, it's, it's again Will Ferry coming in off the line onto his left foot. And once he comes on that left foot, he opens up the whole of the pitch. And what he's doing, the, the, the first centre-back, the left-back, is just ball-watching. 
and he runs off the off the right centre back behind him. It causes it causes um, all sorts of problems. You would have thought by now the left centre back um, is it Jake Hall. You would have thought by now he'd be aware of that run from Chris Norton, but that looks like that's an area where again the lads are going to cause all sorts of problems this evening. It's the voice of Louis Carey, the Saints under 16 manager, former Bristol City defender. Live on the Saints YouTube channel this evening and social media pages as well. If you're just joining us, Christian Norton's goal separates the two sides in this third round FA Youth Cup tie. Scored on 15 minutes. It's been very much as well that build up for the goal and then the chance just missed from Christian Norton a few minutes ago, Louis. That build up down the right, one, two touch, quick. Rotherham haven't been able to deal with it as you said. No, they've been they've um, they found themselves moving towards the ball or ball watching it. Um, it's given Chris Norton and, and Will Ferry and Enzo the opportunity to run off of the um, the back of the back of the defenders. Luthwaite with the pull back. But to get them into that position originally it's been, you know, very, very patient with their with their play and it's been good to see. Space again from Norton stretching, opening those legs up, trying to get round the outside of Jake Cooper. Strong defending from Cooper. Alan Chapchet takes the sensible option back to his keeper, Bycroft. And this one I see is patient and honestly you just move move the front two around. Just move the front two around. You you, you can see by the, the big man um Lathwaite's, you know, body language that now he's he's gonna get fed up for chasing at some point. Saints coming into this game, we mentioned it earlier, off the back of a 4-1 win over Norwich in the under-18s Premier League. Rabisi, Norton, Fleury and Ferry on the score sheet from there. They sit eighth in the table at the moment, Saints. Four wins from their 11 games. Space for Caleb Watts. Tamar Fleury screaming for it and receives it from Watts. Finds the run of Rabisi, he's got options in the form of Norton and Ferry in the box. If he can find room for the cross, he can't. Yeah, the only thing I would say when Enzo is, is running at the full-back, it'd be nice to see him every now and again take him down the line at the moment. He's come inside every time and, you know, the full-back's generally got a little toe poke to it because he's um, reading what he's going to do. It'd be nice to see him every now and again go the opposite way and take him down the line to keep, um, to keep him guessing. Rabisi and Watts linking up. Can't complete the triangle. Beden. Wolf P. Evans. Jake Hull with the clearance. Jankovic. I don't know. I don't think we need to force that. We don't want to get into the game that, you know, Rotherham. There, you can see it's very. They're very um, quick to get the ball forward, one touch, you know, and hook things around the corner and so on and so on. Uh, Any time Allen goes and wins that ball in the channel and plays it to James, I think James doesn't have to force that forward. We've shown that any time we're patient, any time we have a little bit of patient play, um, you know, we generally open open them up or, or, or create some kind of opportunity. Space for Peel Evans. Did well just to skip away from his man, Hutchinson. Back to Cooper. Luthwaite is wide. Strong defending from Jankovic. Stood tall. We mentioned Saints' good performance on Saturday coming into this. Not been so great for Rotherham of late. They play their league football in the, the Youth Alliance League. It was an important, important game for the boys on Saturday after the, um, you know, a tough game away at Aston Villa the other week. Fleury can't get it clear. Cross to the back post. It's uh, acres of empty space from a Rotherham point of view. Saints won't mind. Ramsey can come flying away with it. Jankovic, space wide left for Rabisi further forward. Found by Morris. Rabisi again is just going to have a run at the right back who's on a yellow card remember Rabisi with the cross 
it, yeah. So even though the cross wasn't great then from Enzo, it, at least he's now taking him down the line as well. So you know now, now the full backs in two minds which way he's going to go, and also it's brought the um, as we can now see it's brought the um, the wide right all the way back in. Ramsey to the byline, back out to Ferry. Good block. Just going to have a stop his there, man down injured for Rotherham. Yeah, it's an excellent block there for the um, the sitting centre midfielder of Rotherham there. Lovely bit of play out on our right-hand side from, again, Will Ferry as he takes the lad down the line in little overlap from Kane Ramsey. Nice little cut back and, again, a wonderful strike from, from Will Ferry, but good, good, good defending from the Rotherham boys. Nice and brave to get hit by the ball in and around the box. Stoppage in play will just give the players of both teams the chance to head over to the touchline, take on some fluids, receive a few tips, pointers from the management teams. Chilly night this evening in Hampshire. Jack Bycroft doing his best to keep warm. Saints have him to thank for the scoreline being 1-0. Yeah, like we said, looking at it as a wonderful connection from um, Lathwaite on, you know, with the ball coming back in in the box. You know, he's got his laces on it. He's got power. He's got a swivel on his hips. The whole lot. This created the the power. But it is a save that I would um, expect Jack or someone of Jack's quality to make. I guess the thing with it though, coming 35 seconds, I think I had on the clock inside the opening minute to be that alert early doors. That's just what you want from your keeper. It, it is, and you know. Again, that's why they train to the, you know, the intensity they do train at. That's why they have their warm-ups um, before games and, and so on. You'd like your lads to, be, to 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 start bright. I know the the back four probably genuinely didn't at the very start of the game, but yeah, lucky enough, it was um, it was great that Jack was already and alive and on his toes. Looks like we're just about ready to get play back underway. Throw into Saints. Captain Ramsey there to take it. Finds the feed of Ferry. For Ramsey. Fleary's there in support as well. And Caleb Watts. Saints force back to their own half. Patient from the home side. Jankovic. Robisi. Going to try infield onto his right foot this time. Open up some space for James Morris. Morris just beaten to the ball. Carlton with the searching ball forward, looking for Grattan. Rather than with all 11 players back on the pitch now. Rotherham coming into this game after a good spell in the league then some struggles just won well, four defeats in their last five games the other game a draw so no wins in five beaten twice by Hartlepool once in the league once in the cup Doncaster and Scunthorpe as well the victories over Rotherham of late they normally play their matches regionally as well so a bit of travelling for them to make their way down to Hampshire this evening, their longest trip of the season. Ferry finds the run of Ramsey, just held up in the corner. It is uh, tough to look at results at times, especially at youth level, when you know a couple of games at the uh, you know the under 18s have have lost recently. When you think of the players that have been missing from that team, like the front three that, uh, tonight. They have been playing with the 23s. Um, I know it gives the uh, younger lads an opportunity. There are reasons why, you know, I think my understanding is a striker, Rotherham striker at the moment, you know, he's been involved with the first team quite a lot this season. So, um, you know, he's not going to be there for all of the games. And, you know, when you're missing your top players, um, at times, of course, it gives others an opportunity, but at times it is, uh, you know, it is tough to pick up results. But 
you know youth team football again it isn't about it isn't about the results it's about the players developing and um, you know how hard is it to get that across to the players because I'm sure for, the, for them they're uh, always looking at the results of course as I, you I, say for you it's, it's, it's about the performances well my, my, my beliefs are you know I'll never mention to the 16s about winning you know if I said to the 16s we've got a win today and they're going to go out you know they're going to be thinking well how why when you know all those questions they'll be asking now um, there's processes involved in you, you educate the boys on how to play football hopefully in the long run um, you know more often than not you get those processes right and the principles and you know the foundations right then you will end up winning games and it's not something you will have to um, mention too often I think we're all well aware that we all want to win games in football that's why we're involved to to win games or trophies and so on and so on so everybody knows that's there um, anyway it's just you know educating them on not getting too down, not beating themselves up when we're up against, um, you know, more physical sides and so on and so on. Watts, space for Jankovic. Ferry. 18-year-old with a nice ball forward, just lifted it over the top of the defence. Yeah, good run from Tamar there. It's always nice to see your... Your uh, your number ten running in behind the nine, um, you know when he comes short and, and brings out a centre back, just a very tough tough ball for you know Will Ferry to execute there and a tough one for Tamar to deal with, but is um, you know skidded off and gone out for a goal kick. Tamar with the header, flicks off the top of the head, gets the ball back. Rubisi infield this time. Recovery from Rabisi there. Regan Hutchinson for Rotherham. Along with Harrison Beden there. Had a bit of a battle, those two so far this evening. Beden and Rabisi. Yeah, it surprised me a little bit, really, with um, you know what I've seen from Enzo in the past. And, like we said, he does have the capability to, to run at players and, and go both ways. And like we said, with his power and with his pace. Interesting enough, I would say that uh, I'd see him coming out on top of this fullback overall this evening. You know, and you would like to see a little bit more from him at the moment with regards to end, you know, end product, whether that is a, uh, taking the fullback on or a shot Hutchinson. or a finish. P. Evans with the shot. Couldn't get the direction or the power behind it in the end. You may have just picked that up over the tannoy, but if you missed it, we're going to have two minutes of stoppage time at the end of this first half. It is Christian Norton's goal. Header from the 17-year-old Wales Youth International that separates the two sides. And it's that man, Jack Bycroft. The Saints have to thank for keeping Rotherham out at the other end. A great chance for Tyrone Luthwaite very early on in this match inside the opening minute well saved from Bycroft Saints have had other chance at the other end as well one notable one to Christian Norton Will Ferry has been dangerous for Saints and that's another shot parried away by Farah bit of a wicked bounce in front of him yeah it is it's an awkward bounce for the keeper it's, again it's something you'd expect him to deal with from that sort of distance but it's nice to see uh, Will Ferry having the conf confidence and belief in his own ability to, you know, take on shots from that distance and that angle from the edge of the, uh, you know, corner of the 18-yard box. One last chance, perhaps, for Saints to double their lead at the end of the first half. Rabisi, recycled by Will Ferry. Rabisi, it's looping. Inches away, Ramsey arriving at the back post. It was over the head of the goalkeeper and over the head of Ramsey as well. Recycled by Norton. Another corner to Saints. Good end to the first half from the under 18s. Very good. Good, good defending as well from the, the full back at the far post. You know, Kane Ramsey here has jumped early, used him to, to leverage and jump above him. The keeper's done well to get a, again, get a little touch. And as he's come back in, the centre back then working his feet well to keep Chris Norton. Um, and eventually blocked the shot. Ferry with the corner. Dealt with it front post by Rotherham. 
Tamar Fleury's there. And there is the half-time whistle. A decent 45 minutes work from Paul Hardyman's side. It will go in a goal to the good against Rotherham in this FA Cup third round, FA Youth Cup I should say, third round tie. Thanks to Christian Norton's header on 15 minutes. James Morris, the left back who supplied the assist. Louis yeah, Carey, your thoughts on that first half? Yeah, I think um, apart from, you know, probably the first two minutes of the game when Jack's made a save and they've had a couple of corners and it came down and hit James Morris's hand um, from a loopy cross. You know, I think the boys have been in total control and, you know, they've shown their, they've shown their quality and what they are capable of. You know, there's some very good footballers here at this, at this club um, throughout the young age groups and, it, and in the uh, current under-18 setup. And I think they've shown that tonight. Listen, granted they're playing a uh, Cat 3 club who probably lacking a little bit of quality at the moment, um, you know, but they, they are all heart as, as well. They're putting us under pressure and, you know, they've got an excellent work ethic. But I think the, the quality of the goal um, sums your up really former, the first Your 16 half. players linking up. Yeah, I'd like to say that I talked James Morris out across the ball at that and Chris Norton ahead of that, but unfortunately, you know, I never got into that area of the pitch. But... Um, yeah, no, is a is is a is an excellent cross, and like we said, James is a James is a, an incredibly talented footballer. Um, you know, technically technically lovely, can pass the ball for both feet, can cross the ball off both feet, um, and like I said before, his football intelligence, um, whether in possession to see to see the pass early and see the options ahead of him, or when defending to intercept, uh, you know, of a very very good level, um, and then crossing the ball there from Chris Norton, a lad who. Um, has had an exceptional season. He came back in pre-season and you know looked after himself in the summer. Came back very fit, very strong, and had a wonderful pre-season away in Italy. Scored a couple of goals against Inter Milan. That, you know, bolstered, uh, bolstered. Sorry, his his confidence. And you know, ever since then, he's 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 been on a you know a steady a steady rise up to the you know the Welsh under 19 squad that is much deserved. And again, that that goal today. That shows what he is um, capable of. That's the voice of Louis Carey, the Southampton under-16s coach, former Bristol City centre-back. He'll be back for second half coverage on Southampton's YouTube channel and on Facebook as well. And of course, if you missed any of those highlights, remember you can get them again on the Southampton FC Twitter account. Plenty more to come. We'll hope to see Saints heading through to the fourth round of the FA Youth Cup. They're a goal up against Rotherham. Half time from St Mary's at Southampton 1, Rotherham 0.
Welcome back to St Mary's for our second half coverage of Southampton's third round FA Youth Cup tie home to Rotherham Saints are a goal up thanks to this from Christian Norton on the 15 minute mark excellent build up from Enzo Rabisi and the cross from James Morris and the finish to cap it off inside the six yard box from the Wales Youth International Christian Norton and that's the goal that separates the teams Saints have 45 minutes to hold on to hopefully extend their lead and book their place in the fourth round of the competition. No changes by the looks of it for either side at the break. Run through the two teams for you in full. Saints have Jack Bycroft in goal. It's a back four of Kane Ramsey. Pascal Kapalmu, Alan Chapchet and James Morris at left back. It's the two holding midfielders of Alexandra Jankovic and Caleb Watts. And that attacking diamond, Tamar Fleury at the base. Will Ferry and Enzo Rabisi wide. Caused lots of problems for Rotherham in the first half. Christian Norton is the man leading the line up top. The goal scorer for Saints on the bench. The options Dan Bartlett, Matt Hall, Sean Brennan. Dari Olafonwa and Benny Smales Braithwaite should they be called upon from Paul Hardiman in this second half. Rotherham lining up 4 4 2 this evening. One change for them at half time. I think it's Harrison Beedon, the right back that's gone off. Joel Spence, the man who's come on to replace him. Harrison Beedon on a yellow card. That may have had something to do with it. Their team for you, Charlie Ferrar in goal. It's the substitute, Joel Spence, at right back now. And Harrison Beedon going off. Jake Holland, the captain, Jake Cooper at centre back. Alan Johnson is the left back. The midfield four of Regan Hutchinson, Mitchell Carlton, Wilf Peel Evans, and Jacob Gratton. And it's Jax Etia and Tyrone Luthwaite. Leading the line for Rotherham up front. Luthwaite, the Northern Ireland Youth International, with a, a good chance to give Rotherham the lead inside the opening minute. Well saved it was by Jack Bycroft. That's how we stand in the second half. Alongside me for commentary, Louis Carey, the Southampton under 16s coach, former Bristol City centre back. Louis, what will Paul Hardyman, what will have been the message you think from him to his players at half time? Well, I think we saw that um, how Rotherham started the first half. They're probably going to start the second half, and that's he would he would have made them. Sorry, that was my um, issue with the. I think it was the number three who was changed, was it not number two? Alex Johnson, the man who's yes. gone off. So um, Harrison Beden still there? Yeah. So he would have, you know, he would have made it very clear that that Rotherham are going to start with the intensity and the pressure that they started the the first half with. So be be well aware of that. And if we can diffuse the situation by maintaining possession. Um, for long periods like we did in the first half early on in the second half yeah, you know you could quite um, quite easily and quite quickly um, finish this you know wholehearted Rotherham side off Will Ferry checks back onto that right foot couldn't find a red and white shirt with the cross good play though from the captain Kane Ramsey there just opening his legs up again driving forward for Saints but yeah he would have you know made it well aware I think it would have been more along the positives and you know what we've done very well but how we can then take that to to the next level and that'll be getting on the end of set piece deliveries it'll be the end product from probably Enzo with the opportunities he's had and also uh, the the patience that, that we've um that we've shown so far when in possession and the 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 switching of play that has caused them all sorts of problems especially when we get there um you know two two wingers right back alongside their full backs early ball forward in search of the run of Etia this tie will need to be decided tonight. Whatever happens, we will face extra time and penalties should it finish all square. And, and the, one, the other thing he, the, the, you know, Hards would have said would have been exactly what Caleb Watts has just done. You know, that, um, I suppose, sloppiness, winning possession, it's not needed. You know, when, when you can get control of a game and you've got the quality that the boys have got, you know, that you move that ball you move that ball around with ease and support for each other um, I think Rotherham will quite easily chase the ball and eventually somebody at some point will will switch off 
Nettia. Ball forward to Gratton. Infield from that wing. Strikes and hits the crossbar. Fierce strike from Gratton from distance, that one. Bycroft was beaten, fortunately for Saints. It rattled the top of the bar. Warnings for Southampton early on in this second half. Yeah, they've started, like we said, they've started brighter, but they, they you know, they've... They've won the uh, ball in midfield with a 50-50 you know, challenge, a little bit of body shape, but then the little upset through that it was an excellent bit of play that split the two centre-backs. It's a wonderful strike from, from the, the, the number 11 who's coming from the left on his right foot into the middle of the pitch. He's just made that same run again there that's just got inside of, of Kane Ramsey, whether that's something that they've um, spoken about at halftime. You know, I'm not sure, but you know, excellent ball from Kane to re release Will Ferry wide. Will Ferry cutting inside. He's got support if he wants it from Fleary. Fleary lays it off to Rabisi. Rabisi across the face of goal. Christian Norton was lurking. It was just too much on the cross. That's he better from it. Southampton. Yeah, that's very good from... Uh, I thought Will Ferry originally was going to shoot once he found himself in the middle of the pitch, but, you know, he's, he switched the play to Tamar. Tamar's played it wide to Enzo. It's an excellent ball from Enzo. He looks like the fullback who's come on a little bit out of his depth already. So, um, you know, there's an area that we can exploit them. Small margins in football as well. Rotherham was starting the first half <laughs> with pace, producing a great save from Jack Bycroft inside the opening minute, producing, well, starting the second half with pace and energy as well. And that shot just moments ago from Jacob Gratton, fizz and dip on it, rattling the top of the bar. Could be a very different story here at St Mary's. Those are the fine margins in football. Cross in from Ferry on the right foot this time. Haven't seen much of that this evening. All about cutting in on that left foot most of the time. It is. It is again. It is nice to take uh, for him to take the full back both ways now. Interesting enough, whether they've put the right back on this side because you know he was having a tussle with Enzo and he's been booked, like you had alluded to earlier, or whether it's because Will Ferry so. Um, used to coming in on that left foot that he thinks having the right foot to there will, you know, uh, will combat that. I'm not too sure, but you know that's why it's good for Will to take him both ways because again, like we said in the first half, it keep the fullback guessing. Um, you know, that all that makes it hard for him then to know what Will is going to do. You think based on Will Ferry's first half performance as well, it can't be to do with the yellow card because he's not going to have it any easier <laughs> on this side. Is the right back Harrison Beden mm -hmm. if Will Ferry's second half is half as good as his first? No, definitely, you know, the, the, the two wide men are definitely are two danger men and most creative players when in, when in possession with their threat as in their, their, their movement or their ability to run with the ball. Saints beat Wolves at this stage of the competition last season. 4-1 victory at home. See them through to the fourth round. They were then knocked out on penalties though by Blackpool. Finished one all after 90 minutes for the... Young Saints under 18 side last season, losing 4-2 in the end on penalties to exit the competition. Their best run, of course, Southampton in this competition, all the way to the final back in 2005. Beaten, though, over two legs, 3-2 by Ipswich on aggregate. Some of the names in that team for you. David McGoldrick, you may recognise. Lloyd James, Leon Best, Nathan Dyer, all gone on to have successful professional careers. Many for Saints first team. And how about these for the two of the substitutes in that final for Southampton as well? Adam Lalana and Gareth Bale. Whatever happened to them, Louis Carey? <laughs> and that's the thing, you know, the, the club have got a history of, of producing wonderful footballers. And, you know, when you're involved with the academy, you understand the, the club's way and the Southampton way and what the club are trying to do. Um, and then what internally what the academy coaches are trying to do and everybody involved with the academy, you know, is... Is produced not just top footballers, but but good people as well that can hopefully, you know, play at the highest level. And you know, the the history shows it that that has happened, and people have had the opportunity and they have had the pathway to the first team. But like we alluded to earlier, it is, you know, it's slightly tougher now just with regards to, you know, what you are trying to break into. You're trying to break into now a top half um, Premier League club. Um, you know, and the quality there, and the, the the manager then needs to needs to, you know, show a lot of faith to, you know, to to put a young lad in and stick his trust in him. And you know, I think again that take that takes time, but it's something that the academy are building again, especially after the um, the lull we had. You know, once once a club were in League One and had all those deducted points, and 
you know, couldn't recruit the best players and so on and so on. So hopefully we've turned the corner now and we'll start getting more players in the first team um, on a more regular basis. Theo Walcott as well, also involved in that Southampton side that got to the FA Youth Cup final back in 2005. And when you name the names, you know, I think that's, <laughs> that suggests that's why they've got to the final. You know, is it? <laughs> Not a bad team. Yeah, Not top, a bad top selection of players. Will Ferry. Space if he wants the shot. Takes the shot on Will Ferry. It was curling, just not curling enough. Getting that dangerous left foot from the... Yeah, he's a, like I said earlier, he's such a well-balanced footballer. He's got lovely feet, got lovely contact on his, on his boys. He's very... Um, I don't want this to sound out of turn when I talk like this but you know he's got very messy like when he moves you know what I mean his stature direct, in the way. Isn't he? quick and direct yeah and you know there's not too many big step overs and that's little body feints and you know little reverse passes or a shot at goal or a cross um, you know he's a, he's a top little footballer top top little footballer it's the first time you're seeing Will Ferry tonight 18 years of age signed from Berry back in 2017 where he started his career his youth career here's Etia for Rotherham space for Luthway. Good defending back there from Alan Chapchet. He was on to Luthway quickly. Yeah, slight, slightly alarming how our um, how the Southampton you know, back line have started the second half. Very much um, you know, quite spread across the pitch or disjointed and has allowed the, the, the wide man number 11 and the, and the 10 and 9 to make runs in between um, the players at the moment is probably a little bit of organisation needed, a little bit more togetherness. Get tight back, uh, get back tight together, and get one of the, the number fours to sit in front of you to, you know, stop that from happening at the moment. Mitchell Carton will deliver the corner for Rotherham. It's well dealt with at the front post. A couple of Saints players all diving in for it. Pascal Kapalmu in the end with the head up gets a high five from his keeper Jack Bycroft. Yeah, we've got a lot of height, height back here. I think if they're um, two centre backs in number nine up top, Braithwaite, if they, um, Luthwaite, sorry, if they, you know, if they can attack this ball, they could cause us problems. But you know, looking at our line across the six-yard box of three lads, you know, very, very powerful with Chris Norton at the near post. Um, hopefully, we can deal with it. Carlton with the corner, right underneath the crossbar, well dealt with under pressure there by Jack Bycroft. That was off the training ground. The signal came from. Carlton before the corner came in, two hands patting himself on the head. More defending for Saints to do now though. Nodded down in search of Luthwaite, still Luthwaite, room for the shot. Not enough power behind it, comfortable for Bycroft. Yeah, very comfortable, but they've, they, they've shown that is what, um, you know, or this is the reason that they are going to be a threat still when it is 1-0, is it, you know, very direct, can get the balls into the box and cause issues. Rabisi will get a second bite of the cherries, the rebound drops at his feet back to James Morris Jankovic will switch the play for Southampton again it's quick it's slick it's one it's two touch from Saints on by the substitute Joel Hodgkinson Luke Hodgkinson, I should say. Ramsey, the Saints skipper. Man signed from Chelsea back in 2017. Another one of the Saints youngsters to sign a three-year contract. First professional deal in September. Special moment, I'm sure, that for, for any young pro Louis just gives them that little bit of security that the, the club's putting their faith in them. Yeah, very much. I think underlines a couple of things. One that the the club are showing faith in them, but two, their you know their commitment to the, to to the work to get them to that stage, and you know their belief in themselves, and also their trust in what the coaches are asking them to do, and them implementing it. And in the end, you know, generally, generally clubs get it right with the the reward of contracts to the right people and. Um, yeah, it's much, much deserved. Ball at 
the feet of Morris. Rabisi to deliver the cross towards Ferry at the back post. I still think it's on for the boys to be um, to show a little bit more patience in possession. Again, like we spoke in the first half, they don't need this um, killer ball straight away from distance. I think that's what Rotherham looking at their two centre backs in four backs. That's what they will be looking for, and that's what they'll find easy to um, generally defend. But what they will find difficult is us moving the ball around, moving it at speed, moving it, um, breaking it between their four-four-two lines, um, and controlling the game. Early ball forward in search of Luthway. It's going well dealt with. Back by Ramsey, matching Luthway for pace. Caleb Watts draws and wins the field. The foul, the young 16-year-old. Get play going quickly for sense. Jankovic. So the, these are the situations now. You look at our four, Caleb in the middle of the pitch around by the centre circle. You know, they're, they're, there's that's between the two opposition um, strikers. That's the area that we can get on the ball and just control the game. That's at number four. He said to you, just keep smashing the ball in the channel all the time for, for <laughs> a brother. <laughs> and then moan at people for not running. I think he thought he saw a white and purple shirt. Absolutely no one there, though, from the visiting team. One for Mitchell Carlton to forget. That's nice from Saints. Lovely ball forward to Norton. Good defending held up on the edge of the box. Lays it off to Rabisi. Goes down under the tackle. It will be a free kick to Rotherham. I think he's going to get looking for a dive. It's going to go into... Now, for me, though, the ball was back with Jack Bycroft on his, in the middle of the six-yard box a minute ago. He's um, he split the two strikers to, to pass the ball into Caleb Watts on number four in the middle of the pitch. That's the type of build-up that I was trying to say before, that if you can break lines between a 4-4-2 straight line setup, um, then you can do exactly what they just did, and that is... Caleb Watts to then get a turn on the ball. We played um, Jankovic, who then played it through with ease to Christian Norton. That's, um, that is at times how simple it can be if, if, um, if the boys just back themselves a little bit more in the second half. It's a little bit scrappier this second the, half. Rodham have had their moments, I guess, with a score like, like this. They're always going to fancy themselves perhaps just to nick something. They are, but it is, like say, it is there for us to control this game um, because without doubt we have the, you know, we have the better quality players with the you know better technique better understanding of our positions and everything Mitchell Carlton to deliver for the visitors head of one by the tall central midfielder with PL Evans now that's a, that's a very interesting one because that is a free kick that's punted 40 yards landed around by the penalty spot and the big centre halves overran the ball and then tries a back header Jake Hull, in fact, it was, wasn't it? Not with PL Evans. Both tall players in the Rotherham side. My mistake. But the, but that type of ball that we've just played there, you know, the the left side centre back, you know, playing a very direct ball straight high to the two centre backs. I think they're always going to be favourites. Whereas any time we've passed and showed any quality in possession, um, we have been the better side and. It's just um, a little bit disappointing that uh, the first 10, 15 minutes of this second half has taken a little while to get going. Tamar Fleury with the late tackle. He's the second Saints player in the space of just a few minutes into the referee's book. It's a bit yeah, of a wild a, lunge. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a booking. It's a slightly poor touch, just bouncing around over here and you make any type of challenge that with your foot off the floor. Yeah, you're, you know, it's the same type of delivery again. Look, there's... Again, the big men are up from the back for Rotherham. Carlton with the delivery, it's deep. Not dealt with by Saints. Hutchinson with the ball, gets the cross in. Etia couldn't get the header on target. Oh, it's a poor, poor cross, you know. Again, it's a ball that's lumped in from the halfway line. Um, you know, real high, high ball that's hard to deal with. Jack Bycroft gets a decent punch on it. Once they have the scramble and then the, the lad finds himself in the wide right position, you know, what 10 yards wide of goal you expecting the you know little soft cut back then um, you know Rotherham are in Jankovic down the line to Rubisi can't keep it in play Rotherham just unsettled Saints a little bit here yeah very much so um, 
just got out of our rhythm. The, uh, maybe the halftime break come at the wrong time for the boys because they were in a bit of a flow. Um, you know, whether it's the conditions, whether it's what uh, you know what's said at halftime, whatever it is, um, I haven't quite got um, I haven't quite got our passing game going so far at the start of the second half. Space now for Watts though, just to open his body up off the shoulder of Will Ferry. Lovely touch that was. Couldn't get away from the left back, Harrison Beden. Osborne come away with it through Etia. Good defending again from Pascal. Yeah, he's Pascal. He's been excellent. He's been excellent this evening. Red situations well. Uh, picked the ball up confident in possession and, and defended any any type types of threat like that very well. Player picked up by the Saints Scouting Network, formerly of Manchester City, Pascal Kapalmu. England under 18 now as well, received his first call up in October. It's been a good couple of months for yeah. the Saints number five. Yeah, Pascal came in on trial last season. He played a couple of games, well, three or four games for us, um, for our under 16 side after we made our decisions. And, um, he, he, he looked very much at home there, especially, you know, the, the way we like to play. He was very comfortable with that. We'll see a first change of the night for Saints now as well. Tamar Fleury, 18-year-old heads off. He's going to be replaced by Benny Smales Braithwaite. Yeah, Did you ben, know much about Benny? Yeah, Benny's a very interesting player that um, had, a, had, a, had a few issues since he's come in, obviously, you know, being from uh, Manchester way and living there all his life and all of a sudden moving, you know, I think it was a bit of a, a bit of a culture shock to him, a bit of a change. But as he's settling in, he started to score a few goals of of late he came in as a striker but he's just come on now in this position in the in the 10 I think that's where a lot of people generally um, think he might end up is you know technically he's a wonderful little footballer and he, he's very good at finding pockets and in, in, in spaces in behind um, midfield lines but in front of but in front of uh, defences exactly like the position he's in at this minute in time that's a nice ball in search of Rabisi finds Rabisi back onto that right foot Beats the first man, doesn't beat the second. Saints win the corner. Yeah, like I said, Benny's a Benny's a very talented little footballer, and I think you'll see him hopefully pick the ball up in pockets of space. Like I said, in between the the midfield and back four lines. If he does that and gets turned on the ball, he is someone who could see a pass or can see a pass, I should say, and um, use and exploit Christian Norton's pace. will be Rubisi to deliver over on that far side. Not dealt with by Rotherham, ball bouncing around in the box. Saints will get a, another chance to deliver from the corner. Interesting, because that ball comes in with such sort of, such pace, but also dip on it at times. I think the dip is what making it difficult for the lads to um, get contact on it. But, you know, with, with, with the movement he gets on the ball, his interest is more like a free kick than a, than a, than a corner delivery. The big men up for Saints from the back. Chapchet, Kapalmu and Ramsey as well. Will Ferry to deliver for Saints. Low. Jankovic can't hold on to the ball. Break on for Mitchell Carton. He's got support down this left-hand side from Jacob Gratton. Gratton marked closely by Caleb Watts. Good defending from Caleb Watts. Just shielding his back line. Back in cover as well with Ramsey up for that corner. Yeah, comfortable now. You know, when you've been under a little bit of pressure that Rotherham been under for the last minute or so, even though this is excellent defending from Caleb Box, I, you know, you want your, your wide man there who's dribbling at the ball to, to understand that it's not on your 2v1 and to turn out, you know, just to just to try and have, maintain a little bit of possession because otherwise we're going to, you know, have the ball be, be coming straight at, um, you know, the Rotherham back four. Now the voice of Louis Carey, the Southampton under-16s coach, former Bristol City centre-back. Yeah, with us for commentary this evening across Southampton's YouTube channel and on the club Facebook page. The goal that separates the two sides, Christian Norton's on 15 minute, a header from around about six yards out in the first half after a great ball in from James Morris and good build-up play involving Enzo Rabisi as well. If you missed it, make your way over to Saints Twitter page at Southampton FC. You can see a replay 
of the goal in all its glory. Bouncing around at the back, not dealt with by Rotherham. Yeah, rash, rash clearances. You want to need a that little bit hurt. of coolness, a little bit of composure in those sort of positions when you're trying to clear the ball. You know, people swinging their leg at the ball real quick. You know, it just causes mayhem. So Ferry didn't beat the first man last time. Doesn't beat the first man this time either, but will get another chance. Skips past that first man. Space opening up. Edge of the box. It's the substitute Smales Braithwaite. The shot's charged down. Etia back there on defensive duty. It's game just starting to open up a little bit as we move into the final 20 minutes. It's been tight, it's been cagey at times. Saints have controlled large parts of it. Rotherham have had their movements, particularly at the start of this second half and very early on in the first. Well, very, yeah, very much controlled the the first half, showed our quality in, in possession, out of possession, ability to win the ball back. We had good shape about us and everything. I think the second half of the, the, the 20, 25 minutes have been, um, you touched on it there, a bit cagey, a bit scrappy. Um, hopefully at this stage of the game now we can, you know, start taking control again. Ramsey finds Jankovic. Back to Jankovic. Saints summer signing. The Swiss under 17. Played in the Euros for Switzerland under 17 over the summer. For arriving at Saints from Servet. 16 year old. That's nice from Rabisi to the byline. Couldn't supply the cross. I think he was probably going for the glory in the end. The way he turned and struck that with some power. Yeah, a bit of patience. A wonderful crossfield um, ball by Caleb Watson. As the ball's come into Enzo on the you know the the wide left area, the fullback comes sprinting at him. There's a lovely little touch with his right foot over his head. As he then gets to the byline, has a little chop back with his left foot and sends two defenders. I didn't expect that little bit was more. Was it a cross or a shot? Oh, he's definitely had a shot. <laughs> there was, um, unfortunately, he's gone out for a throw in off the far side of the pitch. Pascal Capalmo up with the header. And there again for Saints. He's broken everything up at the back. He's been solid throughout this match so far. And then there's space for Rabisi on that left flank. I think as Pascal's reading of the game, it's been excellent um, today. Like I said, it's been at the very start of this half. It was a little bit disjointed, the back four. And there were spaces between them, but um, since then, since they've tightened that up in the majority of the game for Pascal, he's he stepped in incredibly well to read balls into the front man. Ramsey calling for support. Instead goes down the line. Ferry's there. Pushed in field. Plenty of space. Rabisi further forward, along with Ramsey. Morris, sorry, Ferry can't find either of them. Foot in from Kane Ramsey, the Saints skipper is a late one. Yeah, I think the you know, it's the boys of not getting on at each other, but there's a little bit of little bit of niggle with regards to the, the you know calling out to each other about focus, and I think a couple of square sloppy under hit passes of. Um, you know, I've highlighted that, but it's not just that, it's the, the disappointment that they show after they do that. You know, the players are always going to give the ball away, but you, you're still looking for a reaction from them, whether that's to go and win the ball back straight away or get back into shape, you know, and not that one where you put your head down and mm. hands on your hips and so on. Second change of the afternoon, of the evening even, for Rotherham. Number 16, Robbie. Gates Hill coming in. Normally plays is a winger, so we'll just see where he takes up position, replacing the striker Jacques Etia. Gates Hill's come wide to this left flank. Space over on that far side for Hutchinson. Early cross in. Luthwait was there with the header, couldn't get it on target. Second chance for him of the evening. a good cross in from Hutchinson down that right 
always leaning back was Luthwaite. Difficult one to keep down. Yeah, I think the, the, the big free kick in again, it causes problems. They then tied it up, got the ball wide. The, the right back's actually putting a wonderful cross. It's just Braithwaite was, um, Leithwaite, sorry, was slightly ahead of the ball. It made it hard for him to get the header on target. I tell you, if he was a yard back there, eight yards from goal, I'd have fancied him to, to score. But it does show si signs that when it's 1-0, um, you know, they are always going to be in the game still. Your BC battling away for Saints. He's had a busy evening, been involved in a lot of bit that's been good for Southampton, certainly going forward. Both wingers have, to be honest. Yeah, they've both they've both been a threat, but second half they haven't they both haven't had the um, they haven't had the quality. Interesting enough, I, I'm hoping that Benny. Um, since his arrival, can get in that ten position and you know start controlling the game from from there. Really, the, these are the sloppy balls that they've been giving away this, this half. They've been very uncomfortable on the ball, the lads. Whereas first half they showed that pure quality and understanding of what it was they were trying to do. They moved the ball well. They moved it with speed. They found they found little pockets in between um, Brentford's lines. They moved well for each other. Just hasn't quite happened so far this second half. Another Ferry. example there. Not kept in by Ramsey. Is this more to do with the way Saints perhaps have played in the second half or credit to Rotherham and the way that they've perhaps just unsettled Southampton since oh, the break? Yeah, I was going to say, I don't, I, originally I was going to say I wonder if it's a little bit of nerves playing at the... Um, you know, playing at the main stadium with a little bit of a crowd and being 1-0 up and um, being under the pressure of wanting to get the result. Um, first off, I was thinking it that, but then knowing the quality we got and showed it, being playing in the 23s and are comfortable in the 23s, I, I wouldn't say it was w was that. Um, Long throw into the chest of Grattan. Turns well, gets the shot away. Chap Jet stands strong, stayed on his feet, got a good block in. Yeah, it's, it's little things like that. So the the long throwing coming in that we haven't got anybody on the on the front man's toes. You know, he can't be receiving a ball 12 yards inside our box um, with no one on him. It's just these little bits. We've we've been a little bit slow to react to a few things. That's like they got a little set piece move here with There's a little signal, signal of the hand again on the head. from Carlton. We saw that earlier on in the second half. It's coming again, trying to get it right under the crossbar, putting pressure on Bycroft. That one didn't beat the front post. But to answer your question, yes, I think I think it's been a, a little bit of everything. One, we haven't been able to control the ball in possession or control the game in possession. And two, in, in Rotherham's defence, you know they've come out and they've had a they've had a right go. And you know this is this is um, you know this is a huge game for them. Caleb Watts finds the feet of Rabisi. Just switched to this right side. See if he can get some joy up against Harrison Beeden like he did in the first half. That's it again, that square pass. Smells Braithwaite on off the bench for Saints. Haven't seen a lot of the ball so far, but that's a nice run forward. Rabisi swerving, dipping, not enough over the bar. Yeah, they've swapped sides now. Will 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 Ferry and um, Enzo. Someone of Enzo's quality there, good from Benny, dribbles forward down the middle of the pitch, tightens the um, Rotherham back four up, then you know he switches it wide to Enzo. I'd fancy someone again of his quality to hit the to be hitting the target from there really. Good feet at the back between Kapalmu and Bycroft. Ramsey to come away with it. Skips away from Gates Hill. Yeah, Jack Jack Bycross, one of the you know the best keepers I've seen in um, my time in 16s football, and you know not just his shot stopping and his um, confidence and everything, but his voice, but also with his feet, he's incredibly good with his feet, with both feet, any type of strike, and you know that's testament to the goalkeeper coaches like uh, Ryan Flood and so on that he's worked with. Uh, but y you know, for a keeper of his quality at his age, I I, I could see Jack going all the way. Will Ferry to deliver the ball in towards Rabisi. Back up, Caleb Watts will recycle. 
They have left two up, interesting enough, Rotherham, so, you know, they still feel like they're in the game. Flurry, cut back. Can't find Christian Norton. And frustration for Saints. Th there are, but we should be making the most of this. The, the right back who come on for Rotherham, the, the, the 14, looks like a young lad and bless him, but he's way out of his depth and, you know, we're causing him all sorts of problems. Find it with ease to step around him. That's just the, um, that's the area of the pitch, really, I think we should be targeting. Time in the middle of the park for Jankovic. Watts. Norton showing deep. Jankovic again to the substitute. Smells Braithwaite. Will Ferry just M coming Much off better patience line. from the boys. That's a nice ball to Morris. Morris with the cross. Robisi with a heavy touch. Louis mentioned those names earlier that played in Southampton's cup run, FA Youth Cup run, all the way to the final back in 2005. Theo Walcott, Adam Lalana, Gareth Bale. How often, perhaps, do you have to remind the players in the current academy setup that you know those players played on this very same pitch? They came through the very same academy because I guess a lot of these guys would perhaps only know Gareth Bale as a, as a Real Madrid superstar. Yeah, definitely, of course they will. But I think you know the club have been great at um, when we recruit or when players are in our system of you know of making them aware of the pathway. Now, whether that's the pitches at the training ground that move all the way up from under eights pitches all the way up to um, first team pitches that they that they see the pathway at each age they move up through the through the ranks um, and also every every day that we go to lunch you know the again the club do a great job of uh, making everybody aware of the the history and all the players names that have come through the system or on the wall and the lads eat the lads sit there and they eat you know looking at this and dreaming of being that you know that next one um, and hopefully that, that will be the case. But yeah, they're, they're well aware, all the boys, of the history of the club and you know, the opportunities that, that are there for you if you're willing to um, you know, commit to being a footballer and back yourself and show that belief and that confidence. Into the final 10 minutes. Pockets of space starting to open up here. A few tired legs out there, I think, for both teams. Yeah, and that's why I think it is on now to play. You know, you look at the the distance from their centre backs to their to their striker. You know, as a good, I don't know, as a good 60, 60 yards or uh, or so. In you know, that's the areas now that Benny can hopefully exploit. Ramsey. Capalmi. <laughs> Space again for Morris, who's linked up well with Ferry since he's made his way over to that left flank. Early ball in from Ferry, well dealt with at the front post by Rotherham. Yeah, very well dealt with from the uh, from the from the Rotherham centre back again. That's Will out on that outside against a sub at the moment, and yeah, he's finding it tough. Bless him, Ramsey. Well charged down by Robbie Gateshill, the substitute for Rotherham this evening. Yeah, it's going to be a really interesting last sort of seven or eight minutes here for um, for the boys. Hopefully, they got enough belief and confidence from the, the scoreline at the minute, the and, the and the performance on Saturday to you know to grind this second half out or or take control of the last five, six, seven, eight minutes. Ferry across to deliver the corner for Saints again. The big men are up from the back, it's testing one for. Charlie Farrar hasn't had a great deal to do in the second half. He hasn't, Playing but throughout the well. whole game, he's he's dealt incredibly well with those um, with the with the um, balls that have come in with pace and dip and whip on you. Know, he's either punched or caught the ball very well um, in the keeper's defence. Chap check. Finds his central defensive partner. Pascal Kapalcha. Kapalmu, even I should say. Very good from Jack Bycroft there. So there was a there was a two-man press we got on our two centre backs there. Midfield, midfield started to step up and Jack Bycroft just put his foot on the ball and took away all the all the sting out of the um, That's a late tackle. That's a nasty one there from Jake Cooper, the captain flying in. 
yeah, the other lads don't need to get involved. Though we all know it's a bag tackle. What's his? What uh, Caleb Watts has just jumped straight back up. You know, he's he's okay with it. The lads going to get booked. They just get on with the game. A talking to from referee Michael Ryan for Jake Cooper, and a yellow card to go with it as well. And it is a booking, but we just accept it. Just get on with it instead of you know wasting your time and energy on on moaning, trying to fight each other. But yeah, it is a you know it is a poor tackle. Studs were down, just full stretch lunging, wasn't he? Not really in control yes. of anything, Jake yeah. Cooper. Free kick to Saints there. Into the final five minutes. Christian Norton's goal, still the one. Separates the two sides. His header scored after 15 minutes of this third round FA Youth Cup tie. Will Ferry again is going to have a run down that left side. Beats one man, beats a second man. No space. But there is for Watts to pull the trigger. Bright idea. Yeah, nice run again from from Will Ferry. Probably probably a touch too touch too many at the end, but the initial bit to draw two or three to him after beating the, the first two challenges was excellent. You know, I'd like to see him then maybe, you know, maybe pick somebody out rather than this heavy touch here. But um He pulled up I, halfway through that it, run as well, but yeah, managed to keep did, himself going despite obviously whether that's a little bit, a bit of, of an injury. Yeah, a little injury or a little bit of cramp or whether it's a little kick from the full back. But um, yeah, the one thing you can't you, you, you can't fault um, the two wide men for today is their their positiveness to you know to get at the the defence, the Rotherham defence. Like I said, just would like to see a little bit more quality with regards to their end product if possible. Final change for Rotherham, the winger Travon Wenham coming on, replacing the central midfielder Wilf Peel Evans. Looks like they're going to go for an attacking three now, these final stages perhaps. Offside flag is up against Christian Norton. It looks like it might, looks like it might even be a four up top for, <laughs> for, for Rotherham in the last five minutes. Looks like we're going to see a response from Paul Hardyman in Southampton as well. And it is interesting because you don't need to you know, go panicking and bringing on another um, centre back. You know, you've got your back four, you've got your two sitting in front of them, it's good. One for Norton to chase. Farah read it well on the edge of his box. That is the end of the pitch where Saints will want to be, though. That substitution coming up for Southampton now. Enzo Rabisi is going to be the man replaced. Looks like he's uh, moved Benny, uh, Benny out to the seven position wide right, and then, then Bartlett is going to come into the ten roll. Eighteen years old, Dan Bartlett, born not too far down the road in Paul Dorset. No, I the think Saints way back in 2009 at the age of 12. Yeah, he's a he's another Bartlett that have come through the system, and he's one that I had at 16 or was part of. Um, coaching a part of our team at 16 and interesting enough I thought he was one that would have moved on um, a little bit quicker than he has at the moment really to you know being involved I think he's got every range of uh, he's got every pass in his range he's he's fit he's quick he's athletic he's strong you know I think he's a lovely little footballer and you know when I when we had him at 16 I thought he could have been a, a top top drawer number four you know sitting in front of that um, you know sitting in front of the defence and He's still got those uh, that talent, and as we just see there, you know he's 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 always eager to get on the ball, and he's got the quality to deliver top quality passes or searching through balls. Here is Dan Bartlett. That's a nice ball searching for the run of Benny Smells Braithwaite. Braithwaite with the cross in and a lovely finish from Will Ferry. He's deserved that. He wraps this FA Youth Cup third round tie up for Saints. They double their lead. They're heading through and marching on to the fourth round. It's Southampton 2, Rotherham 0. Yeah, I think Bartz has come on there, shown his quality straight away with 
um, you know, a couple of little lem passes at the start, and then it is an incredible ball in behind the, the fullback. A lovely run from Benny, a, a brilliant cutback from Benny to pick out Will Ferry. And Will Ferry coming off the uh, wide left line and finishing very well with his right foot. But like you, you, you touched on a, a, a much deserved goal from, from himself and, and from the boys in general. And nice to score with on the 89th minute as well to, you know, take away any last pressures. Rotherham brought on their four strikers. <laughs> Instant impact from Dan Bartlett. The two substitutes linking up as well. Benny smells Braithwaite. Probably wouldn't have forgiven him for perhaps giving up on that ball as well. It looked like it was heading out of play at one stage. Did really well to get on the end of it and then yeah, and across I thought, the face. Yeah, I thought it was an excellent ball from Bartz and we've just seen again he's you know straight into the action. It looks like he's come on eager to impress and show um show everybody he should have been uh Start it, maybe. Four minutes at a time, then, at the end of the second half. Christian Norton in the first half, Will Ferry in the second. The two goals that are sending Southampton through to the fourth round of the FA Youth Cup. Perhaps we'll have a little longer than the four minutes, though. Pascal Kapalmuk. Just down, having a stretch. Yeah, looking like a little bit of cramp. Again, it is a, you know, mentally it is a, it is a, you know, it is a big deal to the boys playing on, you know, at their, uh, obviously, home club's first team pitch. Ferry with the ball in. Norton was lurking. Again, it's good claim from Farrar. It has been, for all the good stuff going forward, a pretty solid defensive display from the Saints. Back five, shall we say, including Jack Bycroft, the goalkeeper, as well this evening. Yeah, I think just from the small um, small instances or the it, it, the start of the game and start of the second half and start of the game, I think apart from that, the boys have been, you know, very assured at the back. Final change for Saints then. Pascal Camus, Kapalmu heading off. Dari Olafanwa, man who dropped out of the side this evening to the bench after that 4 1 win over Norwich on Saturday. It's going to come on for the final few minutes of stoppage time just to help Saints see out for this 2 0 victory as it appears to be heading. Yeah, again, excellent, excellent from Dari. Again, another player who's come through the system. You know, to play at St Mary's is a is a, is a is a wonderful experience for them all. Free kick, some late defending. That Saints will have to do. Standout man, star player for you this evening. Anyone in particular that you, you think, would look towards? Yeah, I think Pascal's defended defended very well. Jack Bycroft in goals been been comfortable dealt with cross as well you know made the made a save in the first half been 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 excellent with his feet um, two wide men have been a threat throughout apart from the end product Will Carlton with the cross towards the back post it's another great save from Jack Bycroft he made one with the score line at nil nil he makes another with the score line at two nil oh that's a he's top. preserving that clean sheet yeah that's a top quality save with his feet there. Um, you know, even when you watch the, you watch the replay, the the, the ball's the ball's swinging away from him. It's um, got great weight on it for the lad just to head it at target. He heads it down. Jack makes an incredible save with his left foot to turn it around the post to um, for a corner. Christian Norton back on defensive duties as well. There, as Carlton gets a second chance with the corner. Another save from Bycroft away to his left this time. Luthwaite with the header. The ball ricochets back up into the air. A chance again, for Bycroft I, to just calm things down a little. Yeah, and I'd expect Jack to make that save. But again, listen, at this stage of the game or any stage of the game, it's still a very good save. He's under pressure from um, a lad attacking him. So, yeah, to get a good punch on it was um, very assured again from Jack. Kane Ramsey. Roaring run down that right-hand side all the way to the byline. Pull back for Ferry to get his second and still put the icing on the cake for Saints. He can't. It's cleared off the line. 
Yeah, good defending from the Rotherham boys. As soon as you see the keeper come out at Will's feet, um, and he chops it around. You know, they, they one one attacks the ball, one defends the line well. Marlon with the cross, Ramsey with the head of the flags up for offside. It wouldn't have counted anyway. <laughs> Exciting finish at both ends to the game. There is the full-time whistle. Southampton are heading through to the fourth round of the FA Youth Cup. It's been comfortable for large parts of the match. Rotherham have had their moments in the end. A goal in both halves, one from Christian Norton. A good header from six yards after 15 minutes. And then the victory sealed late in the second half, almost on the 90 minute mark. Will Ferry had been one of Saints' standout performers this evening with the finish after some good play, build up play from the two substitutes, Dan Bartlett linking up well with Benny Smales Braithwaite to give Saints a 2-0 victory over Rotherham in the third round of the FA Youth Cup. So we just see the goals again. There's the first, the header from Christian Norton. Great cross in from James Morris. Louis Carey, the Saints under 16 coach, has been alongside us this evening for commentary. Louis, how do you sum that performance up on the whole? I thought first half was very composed, showed our quality, showed patience in possession. Um, I think showed in the in the in the in the in the first half that, that they were the, the cat one players. Um, I thought it was very good in the first half, very good. Um, created some very good chances from switching the play and out wide. We looked to threat all over, and the boys at the back were composed and assured. And you know, Jack Bycroft, apart from the save in the very first minute, uh, um, didn't have too much to do. The second half, I wouldn't say it was because Rotherham put us under incredible amounts of pressure or anything that was the issue. It was more the fact that we were um, a little bit loose, a little bit sloppy in possession, gave away a lot of balls, a lot of square balls. Um, so it was really down to us why why it was a little bit off second half. Although what you, what you will say is we were the side, you know, when breaking away, it looked more likely to score and um, had more of a threat about us. So overall, I think um, very pleasing, very pleasing night. And it's never ever going to be easy against um, Cat Two and Cat Three opposition. So um, yeah, really really pleased for the boys tonight with a with an excellent all round performance. Louis, thanks very much for joining us this Thank evening. You. At the thoughts of Louis Carey, the Southampton under-16s manager. Southampton then heading through to the fourth round of the FA Youth Cup. Remember the Saints website, the best place to keep up to date with all of the latest news on the Southampton under-18 side. And of course, the draw for the next round when we'll find out who Saints will face. Thank you very much for joining us this evening. It's goals from Christian Norton and Will Ferry that have given Southampton a 2-0 win over Rotherham. They're marching on to the fourth round of the FA Youth Cup. Full time from St Mary's, Southampton under 18s 2, Rotherham under 18s 0.